Hi, I'm here at Frontiers in Optics and Laser Science 2015 with Dr. David Reitze, Guaygo Laboratory, California Institute of Technology. Dr. Reitze, we heard from you today at the FIO and Laser Science on LIGO and the coming dawn of gravitational wave physics and astronomy. For those who are not able to make the pres plenary presentation, what is the most significant impact and achievement to date on gravitational wave uh, physics? Well, as I said in my talk, we haven't yet detected gravitational waves. We expect to soon, so that will certainly be the biggest impact when it happens. But specifically with regard to your question, I think the biggest impact is all of the laser and optics technology that we've developed. So we have made some of the world's most stable high-power lasers. We have made optics mirrors that are uh, more precisely figured than anything else. A lot of what we do carries on to other fields such as uh, the National Ignition Facility. So there's a lot of technological spin-offs that come from, our, come from our work and I think that's the biggest impact that we've had. One other thing I'll say is that over the past 20 years we've trained a lot of students. And those students, some of them continue in LIGO, and they're still working in LIGO, but a lot of students then go off and work in technology. So they take the, the knowledge that they've learned in LIGO and go off and, and do interesting things in other fields. Fantastic. Your presentation also detailed what gravitational waves can tell us about the universe. Can you tell us what makes this significant to our community and your research? So gravitational waves are potentially really really interesting because they're a new way to look at the universe all right we use really interesting cutting as technologies i just said and we use it to study something that's really fundamentally interesting so it's the best of both worlds we sort of use this cutting edge optics and laser technology control systems feedback control and we use it to study general relativity in black holes. I, I think that's just a fascinating combination that you can take something so applied, such as lasers, and use it to study something so fundamental. And that leads to my next question. In your presentation, you mentioned Einstein's theory of gen general relativity celebrated its centennial anniversary this year during the International Year of Light. What do you think will be the next great leap in technology 100 years from now? Wow, that's a really hard question to answer. If you look back 100 years ago, general relativity had just been postulated. Before that, Newton, Isaac Newton was the theory that we used for gravity. Uh, cars were just getting off the ground. The internet wasn't around. Computers weren't here. Lasers weren't here. So, so I think it's really hard to predict what the next 100 years will bring. But I think I'm safe in saying that there will be some really interesting technological and scientific breakthroughs that 100 years from now, people will look back and say, wow, we never anticipated that 100 years ago. We have a lot of students here at Frontiers in Optics and Laser Science. You've worked for a number of universities throughout your career. What advice would you give to a student entering the career today? So there's a lot of interesting things in science and there's a lot of interesting things in optics so you have to find something that interests you and you have to everything is interesting at some level so you have to sort of pick what's interesting and then really dig into it a little bit a bit the other piece of advice i would give and i followed this myself is be willing to take chances when people heard first heard about ligo that you can detect uh, the displacement of a mirror to a fraction, a tiny fraction, one one thousandth of the diameter of a proton, people went, that's just crazy, no one can do that. And in fact, we can do it. So, so it was very risky to do something like LIGO, but in the end it's worked and it's paid off. So, so uh, find something that interests you and, and, and get a little bit risky. Fantastic, thank you Dr. Reitze. Signing off from uh, Frontiers in Optics and Laser Science 2015.